To solve for y, we'll substitute our x value into the equation. This simplifies to 1.75 times negative 3.5. So y is equal to negative 6.125. So our vertex is at negative 1.25 comma negative 6.125. Let's now graph our parabola. We have our x-intercepts, our vertex, and we're ready to start. First we'll plot our x-intercepts, then we'll place our vertex. we draw a parabola. Now we can do a quick check. Let's look at our y-intercept on the graph. Is it correct? Our y-intercept should be negative 3 because this is our c-value. Notice on our graph it goes through at negative 3. Graphing by completing the square. If the vertex, direction of opening, and the stretch factor are known, then it is possible to graph the quadratic relation. To identify all this information, the quadratic equation must be written in vertex form. Here's vertex form. When it is in vertex form, a value determines the direction of opening and the stretch factor, and the vertex is h and k. For example, when y equals negative 2 times x plus 4 squared minus 3, notice that this is in vertex form. Our a value is negative 2, so the parabola is facing down and is stretched vertically by a factor of 2. In other words, the parabola has the same shape as y equals 2x squared. Our h and our k tell us that our vertex is at negative 4, negative 3. So let's graph by completing the square. Example 1. We're going to graph y equals x squared minus 6x plus 4. Our job now is to rewrite the equation in vertex form. So we'll have to complete the square. We group the first two terms together. Now, what third term do we have to add to this binomial to make it a trinomial with a perfect square? It's 9. So if we add 9, we must also take it away. This is like adding 0, so we haven't changed anything about this actual expression. Here it is. We know that x squared minus 6x plus 9 can be factored to x minus 3 squared. Minus 9 plus 4 gives us our negative 5. Determine the stretch factor, direction of opening, and the coordinates of the vertex and sketch the parabola. Take a moment and identify this information. <laughs> 